Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dog Mom channel. Today we have a special issue, Rambo has taken over. Now, <laughs> if you follow us on Instagram, you have been featuring this chair already quite frequently. A little frog pose here. Are you the frog pose? So today we have a bit of a special issue. I am a dog mom, I'm a crazy dog person. So I thought I would get you guys a gift guide, what to potentially gift someone who's crazy about dogs, a dog parent, yeah, um, whatever gender, but like things for people who are crazy about dogs, who have a dog. Um, so if you ever get in trouble of like having to give them something, I want to give them something, maybe for their birthday, whatever, um, then this is your guide or like at least a few ideas you can get. I would like to kick off um, with actually um, this one. It's a, um, sorry, this way. It's a uh, personalized and um, individualized um, mug. So it's from Sid Co. I will link them down below. You can find them on Instagram, on Etsy, um, etc. And you can basically pick, um, they also have styles for men. So you can basically pick um, what you want so I got a mug but you can have like different things like seriously you can you have a jumper you can have whatever you want bags you name it and you can uh, personalize them so obviously I got this one um, back in the days when I still had like platinum blonde hair um, and this is uh, Rambo so it says dogs before dudes on the shirt and I just love this but you can get obviously also different kind of shirts you can get like stripy ones whatever you know whatever you fancy you can get glasses you can get um you know mustaches whatever you know like seriously whatever you like um so i think this is like a really like fun kind of way to gift something um to someone you know who's crazy about their dog you can also add another dog so you can basically have two dogs the only thing that i would like to um highlight here though is um this does not really like 100 percent look like rambo obviously um and also like not 100 percent like me anymore but I usually i would wear glasses and the hair color was the same, same like picked the same hairstyle, etc. But obviously, it's a um, you know like a simplified kind of design element. Um, however, if you have dogs like I do, who are like you know rescue dogs, no purebred, like basically mixed dogs, um, you might not find the right breed. So I wouldn't get a picture that fits for Chalky because obviously it's more for like standard breedy kind of dogs. So this one is a stuffy, I picked the, um, the well, I think it's like brindle brown or something or black, um, which he is, but obviously it doesn't really look like Rambo, which is completely fine, but I wouldn't really find a dog who, you know, has like, well, um, has like chalky, like one of the patches. So, um, yeah, for, you know, so if you, the person you want to gift it to has um, a mixed breed kind of dog, it might not be the right one, but generally like a cute idea. Then another thing I got, and um, again, this is for people who, um, you know, it's, who just love dogs. It's obviously completely not necessary, like not necessary at all. Um, it's a tea bag holder in England, right? So we like tea, um, with a little stuffy on it. So I completely love this. I completely and utterly adore this. Um, it's completely useless, but I just love it. It's from uh, Sweet William in London. Um, you can go into Sweet Williams design, but also where I got this one and some other bits that I've showed you right now from is um, Battersea. So if you don't know, my beautiful boy here is from Battersea um, Cats and Dogs Rescue. So Battersea in London is like one of the, well, not only in London, basically in the UK, it's like one of the big um, rescue centers um, who rescue loads of dogs. And my beautiful boy is from there. They are like... Um, a well-established um, institution and they also have a shop and I think this is something lots of people don't really know um, they have a shop where they basically same for the same price as if you would buy right um, at the retailer or like at the brand um, themselves they have loads of things um, and you can do something good for the rescue so we also got this one it's a um, oven glove so you can use it like this um, we got matching tea towels, which I can't show you because they're in the laundry right now. Um, but they have like really fun things. Or also like this one, which is like a reusable sandwich wrap. Um, handmade in England. So obviously if you're like in the States or somewhere else, it might not work for you or in Australia. 
but it's basically um, one of those wraps where you can put your sandwich in. Oops, a bit sticky. Where you can put your sandwich and in and then fold it and basically reuse this. So um, for someone who you know maybe has dogs, I just refolded it again. So maybe who has dogs who loves dogs and um, who you know is um, looking to save the environment or whatever. Um, this might be quite a nice gift idea. Um, again, though, like there is not always like maybe the breed on um, on these kind of things that you are looking for. So often they don't have stuffies, um, but I'm sure you can find something that is, um, you know, that is like for any dog lover, like quite a nice idea. Um, then another thing I would like to um, mention, and I will show you what we got from them is um, Pixar Doodle Edits. And Pixar Doodle Edits is another fellow dog mom and we connected via Instagram when I started the Instagram page for Ramble back in the day and then obviously now I did Chalky. Um, but so yeah, she was one of the kind of like first people we kind of um, added and got into chat with and just loved. So we um, obviously got to know them a bit better and she has a business. She's absolutely lovely. She's totally gorgeous. Um, and she's super easy to deal with whatever your wish is she does and she has done for us um, this gorgeous edit of our boys because they're not yet together but I would totally love um, you know to just have something on the wall where it says like you know Ram and Chalky um, together so she created this is just like the pictures I've sent her and I totally adore this I think it's super cute um, so yeah this is something um, I think is awesome but she also does amazing um, pictures of your dog so if the person you're gifting um, or maybe myself so I, I mean loads of the things I gift myself right so let's be quite frank if you are like crazy dog moms we love like everything that has dogs on it so why not you know just gift it to ourselves um, so she also does um, pictures for like Instagram if you maybe have an Instagram page for your pets as well or for your dog um, this by the way also for other pets um, why not get them like a, like a super cute, they are super affordable um, frame, you know, like one of the, like the profile picture ones, but also for postcards. Um, we got one for Rambo last year Christmas, where we sent her like a few pictures, so you pick the one that is like, you know, best suitable for whatever design you want. Um, and then she created us this amazing Christmas card um, of my boy. I will link everything up so you can have a look. Um, I would also obviously link um, her Instagram page down below. She's also on Etsy. Um, and you know, it's like super creative. I'll show you a few more pictures of like the fluff course, as we call the, the doggy friends we have on Instagram. Um, so, you know, she's like really easy to do with. She's like an absolute pleasure to work with. And she's like super creative. And if you have anything you would like to change, um, she can do it in a heartbeat. So she's like super amazing. Um, she even did once a video because obviously fluff pro. So, you know, all the, the other dogs are super fluffy. Um, and Rainbow is obviously not, so he is like this um, short hair dude. So she created us a picture of what Rainbow would look like if he would be fluffy. You know, she's like really like talented and she's really awesome. And I really do like her a lot. So um, yeah, if, maybe this is not something for you, but if you're on Instagram, maybe just give her a shout out or a follow because um, she deserves seriously all the love she can get because she does an amazing job and she's like a great pet and her dog Ma like Marley Mr. Marley is his name is just so so freaking cute so yeah go ahead and show them some love then one other thing I would like to mention I mentioned earlier that you can get things from um, you know rescue centers that maybe have like some merch or some things they sell you will find with loads of charities that you can purchase something merch um, or something that is merch for their brand um, that on the one hand creates awareness, but it's also kind of cool to to wear um, So this might be something, you know, where you just get them something from the gift shop that is like um, Super tailored to dog lovers and which is just like fun to to use to wear to whatever, you know, look at um, But also does good another option obviously is also if you know they might have a rescue dog um, then chances are that they are still supporting the charity they got the dogs from so for example we got our boy from um you know battersea but also the other one from musket dog adoption the musket dog adoption um is like any other charity 
always in need of money because they do so much amazing work and the more funds they have the more great work they can do and you know if you maybe can sponsor a dog and their name or whatever um, I'm pretty sure most people would appreciate this if they have a dog or uh, maybe you can take over some of their um, vet bills or whatever you know you know maybe just like something that is like close to the heart but that you know supports a cause they support um, and that is going forward um, also some people um, collect on the on Facebook for their birthday so you support a charity or whatever it might be you know just maybe help them um, support this cause support their um, the fundraising um, sometimes also just like sharing helps a lot so you know just being aware of what the person might need might make a lot of sense and then my last tip that I would like to share with you but this is obviously not for everyone but um, I for example got a, a tattoo of my baby of my little baby here um, on my leg so it's a kawaii version of Rambo so it's like um, super cute it's not really like realistic portrait kind of style but I know it's him it's wearing his harness he has like his little heart on his chest etc so if you know someone who's like into tattoos and you're really close to them and depending obviously also how much money you would like to invest um, this might be a fun idea too but please um, yeah don't make sure that you know you pressure them into uh, getting a tattoo or anything um, the other thing that I would like to mention why you know we're talking about like portraits etc um, getting a pet portrait like like a proper kind of like drawing of their pet it's the same as you know children's portraits or like general portraits they can easily be messed up they might be pretty but if they are not really like perfect you know some features might have changed they basically don't look like um, the dog or the person in question so this can be a bit tricky um, because even if you think this looks amazing for the person you're gifting it to they you know it's their baby it's like their full baby so they might be like no 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 this doesn't look like my dog you know they might not really use it they might not really um, appreciate this or like it um, and just get it out of you you know if you come home um, or come to visit so yeah maybe portraits is um, I think a bit tricky um, but yeah I think everything that is like somewhat like personalized, standardized um, and just like really cute, like I think loads of people would appreciate um, or something that is close to the heart that supports a charity they might um, have got their dogs from, um, etc. Are you tired, babe? Rambo's tired. He's so freaking cute. Yeah, so this was um, our like quick guide for getting someone you know crazy about dogs maybe like a nice present um, or like a little gift um, so yeah I hope this was helpful for you and if you have any gift ideas one could gift to a dog crazy person or another dog mom um, or to ourselves then please let me know in the comments below because obviously I myself am always on the outlook for something cute um, that has dogs on it <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.